Buddies, we are cruising at a speed that is not safe. We are going to totally die today. Look at the speed we got. Holy. Uh oh, let's rock. Uh oh, okay. Yep. Having an engine and a turbo on this is the most amazing thing ever in the long drive. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of The Long Drive, and today, folks, we are playing with mods that are gonna potentially break the game, and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. Now, if you're asking where the normal series is, I'm gonna return to that in the uh, next episode. We gotta figure out how to fix the truck because the radiator fell off, and I can't find the radiator, so we either have to go to a new save or do a lot of walking. But today, we are gonna be playing with the helicopter. We are gonna be playing with hopefully a turbo. There's no turbos here in the default spawn, but there's a mod that adds a turbo as loot in game and it makes your car super fast. And we're gonna be playing with the mod that is gonna break it because you can pretty much put as many engines on the car as you can fit. And I guess they all interact together and make the car super fast and efficient. So yeah, we've got plans here today, but first, I want to play with this uh, helicopter. I think I actually checked out this mod once and I don't think it worked for me, but I know how to make it work. And uh, we're going to see if we can finish the game in like 10 minutes because I feel like this is super fast and efficient. So if you guys are excited for some more long drive, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Okay, this seems very safe. Uh, let's go space foreign. Holy man, this is good. Hold on, let's start going for. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Okay, maybe we should do this in first. Oh, maybe we should not do this in first person. Hold on, get used to the controls. Okay, where's the road at? Where is the? Wow, I immediately broke this. Um, this is why we don't use helicopters. No, wait, what the heck? Wait, so when I touch it, it moves? Hold on, we need to touch it on the. Uh, let's touch it on this side. There we go. No, stop tipping over, you ding dong. Up, 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 up. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's try a smooth takeoff here. Let's go up, 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 a little forward. Okay, let's get some air before we start doing advanced maneuvers here. So, this is a thing. Holy man. I don't even think the game knows how to load stuff up right now. Like, we're way higher than we've ever been. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've crashed and flown pretty high, but look at this. Oh, and if we can aim the right way, we can go along the road and we can totally finish the game really quick. Oh, let's go this way. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. You know, I don't think this is the way you fly a helicopter, but we're gonna go with it right now because I can't, oh no. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, why are we going super fast? This, okay. You know, this is kind of working. Uh, keep going. Wait, you guys, wait, we're shifting the biomes. What is happening right now? Uh, I thought we were going to break the game with the motor mod, not the helicopter mod. <laughs> what is going on? Wait, are we below the map? Uh, wait. So we're actually in the latest version of the game. Is there a potential we're going to find aliens this way? Like, could there be like a spawn somewhere? Also, it keeps shifting colors and it's making me a little sick. Okay, here, let's try to control this. Okay, fly forward. Where are we? Are we under the map or above the map? Like the biome clearly changed to the desert here, but on oh, look around for aliens. I feel like that could be a thing. Look, it's shifting again. It changed colors. What the heck? I saw my head is totally in the helicopter blade and I don't know what's up with the camera. It's really offset. Okay, I can see, what was that? Thought I saw something there for a second. I can see the, uh, you can see the vapor trails. So that's the thing, but I don't see ground anymore. What happens if we get out of the helicopter? Okay, we're gonna attempt it. Hold on, let's level it out. Here we go, I'm gonna stand up. Why did I figure that was gonna happen? Okay, so playing with helicopters in the long drive is definitely not a thing that we should do. Note it. All right, that was a bad idea. Let's not do that again. You know, I do wish we had this in the default game. Maybe a little bit safer, a little bit more stable, but if you guys could choose a new vehicle for the long drive, that's not a car. We cannot do cars. I've asked that before. Uh, what vehicle would you guys choose? I don't know what I would choose. Maybe the helicopter, maybe a, 
You know, like an old bush plane would be kind of cool too. Uh, all right, so here we go. We got something else to do. Also, by the way, I think it might have... Uh, oh, it's called Continue now. I think this is the Hyprozine, if I'm not mistaken. The Hyprozine was a, uh, a mod we checked out a long time ago. Uh, for some reason, the name's different, but I think it's still installed. And this makes your car super fast. Oh, you're not supposed to drink that. Yeah, it makes your car super fast, but we're not going to make it super fast using that. We're going to use different methods here. So, I've got another mod that is uh, essentially a mod spawner or a car spawner or whatever spawner of spawns and stuff. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying here, but if I go insert, look at this menu. I can spawn any car in the game that I want. Uh, so, we got buses, you got like the uh, Trabant. Uh, let's spawn in this one here. So, if I click it and look, it spawns in a clean one. I need something from actually why would we use the rusty old turd in there when we got the new car here so let's do like a hybrid engine so we got a nice engine here let's spawn in another one i don't think this is updated for the diesel you could spawn in the bus so technically we could put a bus motor on it but let's spawn in one of these actually that was the same car wasn't it i'm stupid okay let's spawn in one of these there we go very very nice so yeah, we've got these vehicles out, and the way you mount another vehicle to the car is uh, via basket, which is kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, uh, how big is the engine in this thing? Is it in the back? No, it's in the front on this one. Oh boy, I don't think I could fit that into a basket. We're going to try to. And the way you know it's actually connected, it'll uh, you'll see it vibrating when it's running. So if we grab a basket here, hold on, let's, we're going to make the ultimate combination here. We're going to put a basket maybe on the top, I would think. Or actually, I don't think it's going to set in there very good. We could pile it on the other engine. Oh, wait, let's put it in the trunk. That's perfect. All right, so let's use this one here. I was going to take this in. Actually, do you want to use this one or how's the trunk on this car? Oh, I like the trunk on this one. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so set this to the side, and what we're going to do, let's go ahead and stick this in here and install it. All right, let's go clunk. All right, so if we grab this engine, we should, in theory, be able to stick it in the back. You know what's nice about spawning these cars in via the little mod menu is that they're full of fluid, so you're pretty much good to go. Uh, it's cheating, but, you know, I like to cheat occasionally. All right, so if I toss that in there... That might be good to go, Han. So we'll know if we crank this up and it vibrates. So let's go this camera here. So if I go on, <gasps> look at it, it's running. So that's two engines. We need more engines. So I don't have a spawner for items. I would totally just spawn in more baskets. I don't think we have any more in here, do we? Uh, that was probably it as far. Oh, <gasps> turbo's in here too. Holy man, we got a turbo. Oh, we about to go super fast <laughs> on. Can we put a turbo on this engine? Um, should we do it on one of the cars just to see the effect of it and then do it on our, uh, our upgraded two engine car? Oh man, we need to get infinite engines here. Okay, hold on, let's install it on this real quick. All right, let's take the hood off. All right, so let's stick the turbo in there. Where does this go exactly? Uh, can it connect? I wonder if it only connects to certain engines. I don't know where this is supposed to go. I know it's just cool looking. I don't see an icon. Also, there's a rabbit out there scaring me. Oh, maybe we can stick it on the Trabant engine. Let's see. Can we stick you on here? I see an attach. Does it just have to be attached to the car? There's a chance it's all it needs. Yeah, you can just press G to attach. Oh, we need to do a speed test. So here, let's uh go ahead and get into here. Let's stick our turbo into this side. And let's try to get a little bit of a gauge of speed here. So it's kilometers per hour. Okay. Let's get moving. Let's uh, cruise. Uh, we really don't have a straight line, but also the engine on this car is really quiet. What is up with that? You can barely even hear it. Like I can barely hear it. Yeah, I just had to turn up my game in order to hear this engine. Okay, so we're good. So let's keep going here. All right. So we're at about a hundred. I mean, this isn't bad. Uh, fairly fast on. Let's turn around. We don't want our stuff to despawn. Okay, so acceleration's decent. So if I stick the turbo onto this, is it going to give us, like, infinite speed? I mean, I don't think it's that fast, but I feel like it's going to be fairly fast. All right, coming back. And on handbrake. Ooh, okay, the handbrake doesn't quite work that well on this car. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and install this on here. So we are gonna upgrade this with a turbo. So since it doesn't seem to want to mount like in a traditional fashion, uh, I think we just attach it. So let's go G. Oh, that totally kind of just popped down in there. Wait, look, it's turning too. It's working. Okay, dude, this is cool. This is something the default game needs more of. Okay, here we go. Uh, is this hell? Oh, okay. I'm getting more acceleration, definitely. On, I don't think it's making a huge difference on it. Uh, see if we can get over a hundred a little bit quicker. Yeah. Oh, you can hear it whistling. Oh, that is so cool. Holy man! Woohoo! Oh man, I want this in the default game. You know, we can enable some mods in our game like our actual good save like it wouldn't be cheating to install a turbo like that could be something you would find in the world dude this is sweet look at the speed we got i think what, what it's gonna do with like two engines though uh oh oh that's cool when i let off oh the sounds are tremendous on this okay i'm in love okay the turbo is coming with me detach uh, i need my turbo because we're gonna stick it on our two engine car here should we stick it on the... Is that the Turbant engine in the back? I think it's the Turbant engine in the back. Hold on, let's stick it on it. There we go. Oh, yes. We're ready. Let's go find more engines. I need more uh, loot spots. Whoa! <gasps> Do you hear the wheel spin? All right, here we go. Release it. Uh oh, wait. Oh, there it goes. I thought it was broken for a second. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> we have a turbo in here. And we have a spare engine. Oh, the speed. Okay, we're going to... Uh-oh. Yep. Okay. Yep, this was a bad idea. That The sound of this is so awesome. Oh, the engine's already smoking. Okay, all we got to do is get to a loot spot. Let's try to get to the road. Oh, let's let off a little bit. You got to hear that noise. Oh, that's so cool. Buddies, we are cruising at a speed that is not safe. We're going to totally die today. Look at the speed we got. Holy. Uh oh, let's rock. Uh oh, okay. Yep. Having an engine and a turbo on this is the most amazing thing ever in the long drive. Dude, we can complete the game in no time with this. Look at the speed that we have. Oh, this is too much. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, the engine stayed attached. There's blood all over the car now. Hey, as long as the engine and the turbo stays in there, we're good. Okay, we really need to find another basket. And I'll spawn in another uh, vehicle and we can get a, another turbo on it. Or another... Wait, can you do two turbos? It can be a twin turbo. So if we can find another engine and another turbo... We'll have a triple engine twin turbo powered beast. By the way, I think the throttle's stuck on this car because I'm not even hitting the gas anymore and it sounds like it's running. It's definitely slower, okay. Where are the loot stops? I mean, we might've flown over one. Uh, there's a big potential that happened, but I'm still looking for some new ones. Come on, we gotta find them somewhere. No, not again, no. Stop, okay, whew. Just land, just stay on all fours for just a little bit. So here's a question. If we did go load in our other save, our actual save we use, could we put the turbo on our uh, diesel truck? Because upgrading the diesel with the turbo would be absolutely incredible. All right, let's hope we have a basket here. We got to stop. Uh, come on. I could totally fit an engine on top of the front engine. And then we can install an engine inside the car too. What if we had four engines? Come on, basket, basket, basket. Ooh. I don't see a basket in here. Dang it. Also, we might be uh, going to the radiator fairly quick. I wonder if there's a mod for a better radiator. Uh, maybe one that has like infinite liquids. Oh, uh, we should totally check that real quick. Uh, hit the brakes, brakes. Okay, the brakes don't work good on this car. That's another mod, upgraded brakes. I'm slamming the brakes and it won't slow down. Uh oh, this is a problem. Um, uh, 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 uh. Come on, come on, okay. Note to self, when we spot a building, we need to break about a mile ahead. Uh, here, kill the car. Uh, is it normal for it to sound like a, a UFO and to be smoking like this? Dude, it sounds like a jet fighter. What's the, uh, what's the, oh, we burned through half our coolant already. How about oil? 
Dude, this thing eats oil. <laughs> okay, so note yourself, if we find the turbo, actually it could be the combination of the two engines. I don't wonder if it's that or if it's the turbo that's eating up the liquids, but if we upgrade our diesel in our normal save with the turbo, we're definitely gonna have to keep tons of fluids in the car and on us. Boy, we were going so fast, the wheels are still spinning. Okay, so we are using fluids. Uh, we better hurry up and find a spot that has some fluids and has some baskets. You know, if we were to find an alien and for some reason it didn't shut down both engines, we could totally keep up with it. Uh-oh. What was that? Was that a piece? Of, oh, that was a headlock. <gasps> okay, so that's the dangerous part of using a turbo inside of um, inside of the car there. That was bad. Um, we're okay though. We got this. Okay, so it just spawned us uh, when we got out of the car there. It did spawn, I think, a hyprozine on this. Now, I don't quite remember. Do I put this in the gas or do I put this in the oil? Uh, where's the gas cap on this? Well, we're gonna see if we can break this even further. Uh, gas cap. Is it in the back? Might be in the back. Where is it on this? Or maybe you stick it straight into the engine here? Uh, that's oil. Why am I not seeing this? Maybe it's because the car is too clean. There's got to be a gas cap on this one, right? There it is. Oh, we were almost out of fuel. That it gave us a full tank of weight. Did we have a full tank of fuel? Maybe I didn't spawn it in with a full tank. Um, should we cheat real quick and get a, uh, a new vehicle? And we can just stick these motors on the new vehicle. Let's make sure we uh, install it with the full tank of fuel gas because we're gonna need it there we go so go random color we'll have a full tank of fuel here uh let's spawn in this one here what is this actually oh here we go dude that color is hot all right so oh this has got a full tank now so let's go ahead and take this off uh on we're doing an engine swap except for it's not in the way we normally do it uh, can we just stick it in the front here? Here, let's attach this. Let's go boom. Have you ever seen a motor on top of a motor? Well, folks, we're doing it here today. Hold on, let's put this. Okay, we need to install this on the top here. Uh, okay, mm, about like that. So here, let's go ahead and move this over here. Actually, I think the fan's supposed to be at the front. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so we just need to set you on top of this. Okay, I hope that locked in. Let's go ahead and attach our turbo to it. Let's go boom. Oh, that is a beast. Look at that. All right, let's see if it locked in. Oh, uh, it's running, but is it? Wait, is it on? Uh, I don't think our turbo's active. Okay, we're definitely getting two engine powers here, but our turbo's, I don't think our turbo's on. Uh, we need that on turbo. Uh, where do you need to go? Here, attach you here. Did we break our turbo? Oh, is it spinning now? Uh, we're not getting that whistling anymore. Oh, it feels like, oh, there it is. Woo. All right, it's back on. Uh, we're gonna need some lights. It's about to get dark. All right, so the goal is to find what? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, we're good, we're good. Nope, we're not good. Nope, we're good. Nope, we aren't good. Uh, nope, we're good, okay. So yeah, the goal is to find another engine, but as I was saying earlier, we're going so fast that totally if aliens were to show up and say it doesn't shut off both engines or the turbo, we could keep up with them. We could see where they actually disappear to. Uh, that's called breaking the game. Folks, did I tell you it's really hard to drive this? Uh, like super hard? That almost makes me think that uh oh, go forward. What is wrong with the car? It's like it's got too much momentum going backwards. Oh, uh, we need some light in here. Come on, car. No, stop this. Brakes. Brakes. No, forward. Why are we going backwards? I think this is what the uh, mod warned about. Breaking physics. Okay. Look. I don't... That's reverse. This is forward. I can't... Okay, well, I guess we're going this way. All right, well, let's see how fast we can go in reverse. Uh-oh. Why does this seem to be faster than going forward? Oh. Well, there's a chance we can still find a loot spot this way. Uh, beyond, oh, that was a big rock. We don't want to hit that. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's a tree. Well. Um. 
think there's a chance we just broke the car. Uh, I hear killer rabbits too. Um, so that was a really bad idea. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to the point of getting another engine, but the turbo, I think there's a chance we're going to leave this mod installed. What the heck is that sound? Oh, it just refired. That scared me. Uh, it's just sitting here. I'm pretty sure his rabbit's coming. So, not really sure what we learned here today. We learned that twin turbos are actually not even twin turbos. Putting a, just a single turbo in the car is amazing. But if we can put this in our diesel and maybe even add another one to make a twin turbo diesel, that's the goal. That's the life. We would totally complete the game a lot faster. Uh, we're probably going to die, but having the diesel, I feel like it's going to be a little bit more stable because it's heavier. I could be completely wrong, though. But if you guys want to see that, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, and we will see you guys next time.